Valve is one of the only video game companies we still have knowledge of. They were a very creative people, coming up with games like the Half-Life series and Hats the Game. Valve came up with so many revolutionary titles, not to mention Steam. They were such a huge influence on the game industry, it's probably safe to assume that they were aided by aliens. Think about it. You have Gabe Newell, who we all know is the god of the sun according to the ancient forums. His power combined with alien technology? That's how the games were made. The weapons in games like Half-Life 2 are clearly modeled after alien technology. I, I mean, it's like the Roswell crash, how that inspired people to create things like cell phones and magnets. And of course, the most important piece of technology Valve had was the companion cube. It was an item well known to be kept around the Valve offices, but what most people don't know is that it was more of a communication cube. It allowed Valve and the aliens to be in contact at all times, but their relationship couldn't last forever. It was 2007. That's the year that Portal came out. In that game, Valve actually had the companion cubes as characters, and the players had the option of destroying those characters by throwing them into the fire. That's right. Gabe didn't want to talk to the aliens anymore. Gabe had all the power he needed. He was about to become a billionaire, and with technology he probably stole from the aliens, he was able to abide by a complicated system of time displacement popularly known as Valve Time. How could a company like Valve grow so big, so quickly? It's obvious. The aliens helped them develop their own form of time. The aliens developed a sort of hyperbolic time chamber, in which Valve was able to go in and develop games with whatever amount of time they needed. Of course, most of this time was spent creating hats. Gabe had everything. The money, the power, Valve time. And then he cut off communication with the aliens. They didn't like that. You guys remember EA? Back in 2007 and 2009, they had a whole slew of great games. Mirror's Edge, Dead Space, Rock Band, and then the aliens took over. The aliens took over EA and tried to create a rival digital download system called Origin. Now, Origin was awful, absolutely awful. The aliens just had no hope of defeating Gabe at that point. He was much too powerful. Then, in 2012, Gabe revealed Valve's newest piece of technology which, as we all know, changed the course of human history forever. <laughs>